a small invisible virus brings us to our knees. We rely upon the learned to guide us. We know not what it is, but only that it is. The earth rests and the skies breathe. Necks bow and voices hush. We see every nation on their knees. We acted for gain towards lusts. Emperors and empresses with new clothes like shrouds and palaces like coffins. The great city of Pompeii, the marbled halls of Caesar, the palaces of the pharaohs. Their people, just like us today, thought that they were at the pinnacle of civilization. Yet, in a moment, they were turned to dust. Man's mischief has brought upon him his own humiliation. But the power that rains down trials and tribulations is capable of summoning relief. So now is not the time for pessimism and panic. Like plants, we can regrow. The deluge can strengthen us. Reflect. This life is but a test, and actions are judged upon their conclusions. Use this moment to change for the better. Now is the time to return to the One. The One who created the Earth and set it on its orbit with flawless precision. The most minute change would be catastrophic for all creation. Reflect. There is only one being capable of such perfection. The Earth rests and the skies breathe. Yet, they never tire in their submission to the One that created them. There is always hope. The choice is ours. The honor is ours. Let us throw off the heavy shackles of arrogance and deceit and find peace, hope, and humility by submitting to the One. As we regrow, let us regrow with purpose. Let us regrow with hope, and let us regrow with faith. Bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah, and that Prophet Muhammad is his final messenger. <laughs>